Mercy aka Enlum and welcome to my studio. Today we are going to do a third palette choice for my buddy Murray. Um, after I finished the two pieces uh, and took them to Ottawa for him and his wife to see, we all decided that we needed to change it up a little bit. It was too dark and I knew that. Uh, you can see those videos right here. It just, I knew it it, that the colors were too dark. So what we decided to do is change the color palette a little bit. So this is the color palette that we went with and it just it came, these two colors, these two purples dried black because I spread them out here but on the canvas the paint doesn't get stretched enough to see through and the background is black so it, just, it came out too dark and I knew that when I took them but I wanted to give them an opportunity to see them. So we came up with a new color palette and based on these ones. So I'm going to just put that together right now and you can watch and see what we came up with. So we decided no black whatsoever. And they still wanted silver, so let me just get my silver out here. We also decided that we would, um, I would wait for the paint colors to dry. And this is a little bit more violety than it shows up on the screen, and this is a little bit more purpley than it shows up on the screen, and this is actually a turquoise that's on the teal side, and this is a very aqua green, but on camera, Sometimes it can be a challenge with the camera. So hopefully in the new year, when I sell all my art at Christmas this year, I will have enough money to go and get a better camera for above here so that we can capture color a little bit better. So the silver doesn't change. just flip this over we had decided so the new color was brilliant violet which is actually called brilliant purple so this will this is a much lighter purple so this Murray I don't know if you can see it this is a lilac I know on the screen it's showing more as a mauve but this is closer to a lilac. Let me just spread that out a little bit. But it, it's going to dry. Whatever it is up there, that's what it's going to dry as. We discovered that too. That it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that I pulled this one out. It dried that color. So I pull it out a little bit so they can maybe see it better on camera, but whatever this blob up here is, that's what it's going to dry as. There we go. So that is that brilliant violet, and again, <clears throat> on camera, I'm, it looks more like a periwinkle mauve, and here it's definitely kind of an iris, iris uh, lilac-y color. All right, the next one was light blue violet. <clears throat> if I remember correctly, yeah, it was on the original palette and they really liked that one. So I'll just put this one out again. There we go. So on screen, this looks like a sky blue, but on the paper, it is a purpley blue. More of a blue than a purple, but definitely has purple undertones to it. There we go. Next color, light green aqua, which was one that they had already chosen. So again, on the screen, it looks more like a teal, but in real life, it looks like, like a sea green or a sea foam green. And then turquoise which I must be very careful with because I only have a little bit left. 
Um, and I thought I had ordered some more and I lied. <laughs> so I only have a little bit left, so that'll be an accent color. So this is more like a teal. And on screen, it shows up as a blue, but this is a true teal. What was the next color? Light blue violet, which I already put down. Ultra. Key. So another purple. Was this ultramarine? Oh no, it was the ultramarine blue they wanted. Here it is, ultramarine blue. Oops. Ultramarine Blue, which was in the original. It's a nice, classic, bright, like royal blue. On the screen, I'm finding it's showing up a bit pale. This is actually a really nice, rich royal blue. Phthalo Blue, which is one of my darkest blues. So this comes out A little bit lighter on screen this is a very very dark blue and it dries really dark as well and cerulean blue oh, it's cobalt here this was in the original color palette as well so basically what we have done is we've lightened up the purples and gotten rid of the black. So this is cerulean blue and this is a nice um, it's almost like faded jeans blue. It's kind of a cool blue. I really like cerulean blue. And um, for the background I'm not going to go white or black. I'll probably use this uh, light blue violet as the background color. So I'll make a big batch and pour that and then put the rest of these on top. So there we go. There's our new color palette. Let's see if I can get it up, up close and personal here. Here we go. Awesome. So I'm hoping that this change in those purples is really going to make the difference uh, for Murray and Heather. Um, the other one was very pretty and people have definitely commented on it, but it was too dark and too busy for the space that she has set aside, which is, which is fine. I'm, I knew it was too dark when I took it up, but I'm not my client. So I'm very happy that we've uh, narrowed down the violets, the, the purples, and now we have uh, lighter shades of blue and I think it's going to look fantastic. So as soon as they give me the go ahead, I will do the third pour and I will show you that here. So here we are the next day with the dried paints. So these ones are all pretty much the same. This dried a little bit darker, so it's a darker blue. Um, and this dried a little bit darker. Acrylics normally dry half a shade darker. Um, I'm not too worried about these two blues because I've used them before and when they're pulled in a pour, they uh, you can tell that they're blue. But I haven't used those purples before. Um, no one has asked for those purples before, so they dried much darker. So, Murray, you've already seen these two colors on a canvas, so I'm not really worried about these two, but I just wanted you to be able to see it. So this is still a teal, this is still an aqua green, the, the um, blue you've seen, this blue you've seen, and this brilliant purple is still a nice lilac shade. So, email me and let me know. And I'll start your piece. I'll talk to you later. It's always better when you're here. Bye.